Good evening. It's 6 o'clock on Wednesday, June 1st, 2016. Welcome and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Aura News, where we bring you today's top stories translated into English every weeknight. Elvis Roshi, suspected of falsifying documents on the self-declaration form, is under investigation only a day after his resignation as the mayor of Kavaya. The official notification from the prosecution says that the investigation is initiated by the decriminalization structure of the prosecutor general's office. According to the prosecution, this organization has begun verifying both the data Mr. Roshi declared on the form and the data he made public regarding his resignation. On the basis of preliminary verifications, the decriminalization structure of the prosecutor general found that Elvis Roshi had not declared a sentence given to him by the Italian authorities several years ago. Mr. Roshi made the fact that he had been convicted by Italian authorities public yesterday when announcing his resignation. A day after the resignation of Cavaglia's mayor, the Democratic Party chairman accused the prime minister again of defending criminals and offending immigrants by comparing them to Elvis Roshi. Eddie Rama has offended thousands of Albanian emigrants, saying they are like Elvis. I do not think that hundreds of thousands of Albanians who work and live abroad are like Elvis Roshi. The architect of criminalization in politics does not condemn Roshi for having a record, but instead says that this is the model of Albanians, declared the DP chairman. Expanding the opposition coalition seems to be the new strategy for the Democratic Party chairman, who invites everyone that is against the current government to join the opposition and announce the new alliance between the Democratic Party and the Party for Freedom, Democracy and Ethics. Of note is the chairman who has changed his surname but claims that it is not due to previous crimes. Prime Minister Eddie Rama and Democratic Party Lulzam Basha are expected to meet on Monday at 5 p.m. in the Palace of Congress to discuss the two most important reforms, the judicial reform and the electoral reform. Sources from the Prime Minister's office confirmed their proposal for the meeting, but the Democratic Party has not confirmed the meeting and did not comment on the matter. The format of the anticipated meeting between the two political leaders remains to be defined. In his previous letter, the Prime Minister proposed that the chairman of the Ad Hoc Commission for the Judicial and Electoral Reforms also be present in the meeting. Chances are that the Democrat chairman for the Commission of Electoral and Judicial Reforms will also be present at the meeting. Mr. Basha did not comment on the meeting, but only said that there will be time to discuss the matter later. Monday, June 6th coincides with the end of the 10 days of exclusion for the former Prime Minister, Sali Berisha, from Parliament. In the last 25 years of Albanian democracy, it seems the political parties maintain need for international interventions to insist on and negotiate making meetings possible between opposing groups of politicians. This time, the Prime Minister and the Democratic Party Chairman. The result of this meeting and whether the political class will show maturity to adopt the conditioned reforms for Albania's European future remain to be seen. It seems like the hours of socialist MPs Ben Belushi and Mimosa Hafizi in the Socialist Party have ended. They are consulting with the citizens for a new party. When asked whether they will leave the Socialist Party, MP Hafizi said that their presence in the SP is only a formality. She admits that the project for creating a new party is at the consultation phase with the citizens who, according to her, will be the ones to determine the profile of the new party. In her interview for Aura News, MP Hafizi said, After the battle for democracy within the Socialist Party, we are aware that this party does not meet the citizens' requests. Many citizens have asked us to create a new movement. We are trying to create a new party which demands a stable government, rule of law, and people who do not fight for their own interests. The MP declared that there are other MPs inside the Socialist Party who do not agree with the way the party is functioning, so far. 
adding that everyone is free to choose their political future. Another scandal has been discovered in Skodra social care centers. The nurse of another center was found to have been systematically violent with the patients who have mental health problems. After the prosecution's investigation, Skodra police arrested the nurse and the director of the center who stand accused of dereliction of duty. The investigation also found that three adult female patients of the center have had illegal abortions after being impregnated while a patient at the center. This discovery came from the expert forensic evidence requested by Skodra's prosecutor. Meanwhile, the Skodra prosecution continues their investigation to fully identify violence cases, find the center employees responsible for the mentally handicapped women's pregnancies, and those whose negligence made way for the crime, as well as those responsible for their illegal abortions. The playground at the Lake Park, which prompted protests of activists and a harsh exchange of accusations between the president and the mayor, was inaugurated today. The Capitol's children filled the playground, which was the city hall's present to them on this Children's Day. Mayor Villiers was present at the inauguration ceremony and declared that the grudges between adults should not hinder the development of Tirana or the projects for children. He added that the mess made about the playground ended like a toy story. The adults' grudges should not hinder the development of Tirana and the projects for children, he said. The debate over this matter ended today in the best possible way. Not a single tree was cut and no bar was constructed. I assure you that the work for Tirana will continue. Soon we will open another playground. The debates should be made in Parliament. It's not the moment for revenge and arrogance, declared the mayor. 4,000 square meters of playground has been divided into eight areas for children ranging in age from 1 to 12 years old. For children from 3 to 5, there is a synthetic grass carpet as specialists consider it to be a protective element against possible injuries. Meanwhile, for other spaces, City Hall gives assurances that it has not touched the original grass of the park. As the children were playing and enjoying the new playground, a group of 20 activists asked for the return of the park to its initial condition. President Bouyar Nishani participated in the Southeast European Cooperation Process Summit, where he reiterated Albania's commitment to continue with the reforms on the road towards EU integration. From Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, at the conclusion of the SEECP summit, Nishani made the following statement. Albania has already made it clear that the strategic goal is Albania's integration into the EU. We are deeply focused on further advancing in this journey by implementing deep internal reforms with the aim towards opening negotiations. The head of the state also highlighted that this summit reaffirmed that the European integration of the whole region remains a common strat strategic choice, a strategic policy that guarantees peace and st stability. He expressed confidence that Kosovo will soon benefit from the liberalized visa regime with the EU. In a press conference, President Nishani stressed Albania's commitment in the fight against terrorism and violent extremism, saying, Albania remains fully committed to combating terrorism and violent extremism. Albania has a harmonious coexistence and peaceful brotherhood between religious groups. Albania is also guided by the principles of good neighborliness, peace, and stability in the region. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Mari, and on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.